This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Wednesday, August 27th. I'm James Spann, getting close to a holiday weekend. We'll be dry through Friday. The moisture comes back, though, uh, by Saturday and Sunday. Let's go in there and take a look this morning. The water vapor satellite view across the United States. Got the uh, storm track up near the Canadian border. Pretty good trough in the western states, but around here ridging in place and a dry air mass. But hey, feels good this morning. As cool as 61 up in Fort Payne, uh, 64 in Gadsden, Birmingham, 66. We'll be in the low 90s today, but the humidity values stay fairly low. Heat advisories north of here, parts of Missouri and some of the adjacent states, and also some scattered flash flood watches over the plains and over New Mexico. We're pretty quiet here. A slight risk of severe weather today for parts of Kansas and Nebraska in advance of that trough. And the rain for the next five days. Uh, this is suggesting heavier totals up around the shoals over northwest Alabama. And this is the rain valid through early Monday morning of next week. Weather in the tropics, a little thing in the Gulf uh, with hardly any clouds and it's drifting west and should not be an issue here. Uh, another weak wave approaching the Leeward Islands. Not expected to be a problem. Cristobal is in the Atlantic. Uh, it's moving north, shooting the gap between Bermuda and the east coast of the United States. Winds of uh, 80 miles an hour. No threat to land. It's going to wind up in the North Atlantic this weekend as it begins the slingshot to the northeast. All right, model fans, let's take a look. The GFS, this is valid today at 1 o'clock local time. This is the OZ run at 500 millibars. There's your trough in the west, kind of beating down a 591 ridge. And again, for us, it'll be a sunny day, the high in the low 90s. Uh, dew points stay low. In fact, the dew point should be in the 50s today. So uh, if... It should be a comfortable 91 or 92, much like yesterday. Really the same thing tomorrow. We start the day in the 60s. The high should be in the low 90s. And Friday, the same thing. Uh, the chance of rain, very small. And we have dropped that from the forecast, so we don't expect any rain for the high school football games tomorrow night or Friday night. Labor Day, what's it going to do? Let's see here. You can see how the uh, heat ridge is being squeezed to the southeast on the South Atlantic coast with the trough coming in. And moisture increases, and that clearly will open the door for some rain on Saturday. But again, we stress it's just not going to be a deal where it rains all day. I think no doubt it rains at times, but it's not going to rain all day. And the sun probably out at times. Uh, the high Saturday should be in the uh, uh, upper 80s because of the clouds and showers. Uh, for football, we've got uh, Auburn at home, UAB at home. Alabama's playing indoors in Atlanta, so it really doesn't matter there. But uh, for, for the venues in our state on Saturday, clearly the chance of a shower or storm during those games. So uh, take the rain gear in case one comes on through. Here's a look at the higher res European output, valid at 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon. And again, just kind of give you an idea of the sogginess in the air. Uh, Gulf Coast weather for the weekend, uh, you know, same thing. Saturday might be a day with more clouds than sun. But I think on an average basis, you know, five to seven hours of sun uh, through Monday with obviously a chance of showers. But again, it's not a washout. This is Sunday. Uh, looks like the showers become fewer in number, but they will still be around. Clearly a chance of scattered showers and storms with a mix of sun and clouds and Monday showers become fewer in number as the ridge begins to rebuild. And uh, heat levels probably creep up toward the uh, low 90s on Monday. Here's Tuesday. That looks relatively dry. And this is Wednesday of next week. And you can see we've got a 588 ridge in place. And down below that, uh, partly sunny, widely scattered storms. Highs, I'd say, in the uh, low 90s. This is the next day, Thursday the 4th. I wanted to show you that and that the GFS continues to suggest maybe some type of tropical low comes into the Mexican coast well south of Brownsville, Texas. Uh, but obviously no impact here, but the model's been very consistent in that feature. Here's the end of the forecast. Uh, this is September 11th. We've got uh, troughing on the east coast and, hey, a, a cooler, drier air mass tries to push in here. But this is voodoo. We, we all know that. Ensemble temperatures, I think these are too hot next week. It pushes us up to 97. Uh, not so sure we get that warm. I think low 90s are likely, and then we cool off out there toward mid-month. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News. 
at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.